Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Given the strain and stress Belle Dingle has experienced from Tom King in Emmerdale, it is surprising that she hasn't experienced a relapse before. Tom is undoubtedly trying to ensure that she relapses right now. Tom has been making threats of sending Belle to prison ever since the axe incident and the lack of proof of his cruelty. He's even violated her bond in an attempt to torment her mentally. However, she is a strong woman who has so far resisted his assault, holding off on his pistol to her head and even rejecting his arrogant claims that she is guilty. She can only handle so much before the mental strain from Tom's depravity and the death of her cherished father becomes unbearable. The cherry on top is when Belle finds out that Kane, against her wishes, told Zack about Tom's abuse before he passed away. This made Belle concerned that the weight of everything she had to go through would have accelerated Tom's demise. She's worrying over this notion when a bouquet of flowers is delivered as a token of sympathy. There is no note on the flowers, which instantly sets Belle off. Tom is the only one who is ill enough to do this. Belle takes a bold and risky step when she violates her bond terms in order to speak with her former partner. It's a bold move, but a foolish one, since D.S. Foy comes knocking on her door right away, getting her imprisoned. She receives a startling revelation at the police station. If she sees Tom once more, she will go straight to jail rather than passing go. Belle is even more devastated by this news, but she makes an effort to suppress it. Although Lydia fears that she might not be able to handle things, the truth is that she is. She is frantic for one of the voices in her thoughts to be her dad's soothing voice. Lydia and Sam suddenly realize exactly what is going on with Belle. Can they save her before she gets sectioned or worse, even if it's becoming late? Following the cancellation of both Coronation Street and Emmerdale on Friday, October 25th, viewers may be dissatisfied when they return to the schedule the following week. This is because the live women's international football will be televised on ITV starting at 7 p.m. and running until at least 10 p.m. weekdays at 7.30 p.m. on ITV and ITVX is when Emmerdale typically airs, with an hour-long episode on Thursdays. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are when Coronation Street airs on ITV and ITVX at 8 p.m. for viewers of Coronation Street who are involved in the Joel Deering murder mystery storyline, this schedule shift comes at a pivotal moment. When Joel, Callum Lil's horrible deeds were made public, authorities initially thought he might have killed himself after vanishing from the cobblestones. Nevertheless, the bombshell revelation that Joel had been murdered on Monday night's episode set up a protracted police inquiry in which everyone was placed under suspicion. Coronation Street has revealed that a number of dramatic flashbacks will aid viewers in piecing together the story in the upcoming weeks. According to Leeds Live, the ITV soap opera will relive the events of September 27, the night Joel vanished, in one of the most suspenseful whodunits ever. Fans will witness other characters being under suspicion as the mystery surrounding Joel's death gets deeper. This week, Ronnie Bailey, played by Vinta Morgan, the uncle of Joel's mistreated fiancé Dee Dee Bailey, and Mason, the bully who plays the bad boy but has recently been trying to change, were among the first to be featured on a crime wall photo. Viewers are left wondering who is really responsible for Joel's killing and how long it will take Kit and Lisa to catch the criminal as the plot takes more unexpected turns. In other soap opera news, the Dingle family on Emmerdale learned of the tragic death of their patriarch, Zack Dingle, on Tuesday night. Tragically, Zack's creator, Steve Hallowell, passed away in December of last year at the age of 77. Since 1994, the actor had been playing the adored Zack, winning over fans' hearts with ease. After Steve passed away, the writers of the soap opera created a heartfelt death storyline for the beloved actor and character. Part of the story will involve a long-lost relative making an unexpected appearance at Steve's funeral later this week. More information regarding the Zack Dingle killing plot has been hinted at by Emmerdale actor Jeff Hordley. The soap opera will pay homage to both Steve Hallowell, who played Zack, and Zack on screen in the upcoming weeks as the Dingle family plans a funeral for Zack and a long-lost relative is expected to attend. Zack passed away in December of last year. Regarding the scenes, Hordley revealed that Kane, his character, will be taken aback by the news of Zack's passing because he has just returned from seeing Zack in Scotland. Dingle, Kane, Belle, Moira, Charity, and Emmerdale. The actor stated, he's trying to process it, and that Kane's recent encounter with Zack is a huge comfort, if you've seen someone just before, then it can make it easier. 
watchers will see Kane approach several family members and inform them one by one about Zack's passing, to which each dingle will respond differently. This will cause Kane, Belle, and Sam to get together for some introspection. It's probably almost a devoted episode where they just sit around one night talking about their life, relating it everything to Zack, and talking about Zack. This is really a sweet episode, he remarked. Birmingham, Kim Tate, Kane and Sam Dingle, Zack Dingle's funeral. It brought back a lot of memories from our two-hander lockdown episodes in which the characters just spoke to each other. It's very intense, similar to performing in a play. After Sam and Kane travel to Scotland to bring Zack home, the funeral is held shortly after. Dingles' name is all over the funeral. I honestly can't say any more than that. If you could say shotgun wedding or shotgun funeral, you'd kind of get a picture of what it's like. Fans of the ITV soap opera Emmerdale discovered Tina Dingle's secret this week as her criminal past was revealed. On Thursday night, the character, now portrayed by Samantha Power after original actress Jacqueline Peary declined the role, made her 28-year comeback to the village. Zack Dingle's estranged daughter Tina unexpectedly joined her family, leaving the Dingles stunned as they gathered to say farewell to the icon following his untimely and devastating death. The family experienced a greater shock, though, when Tina started making fun of their lives and all that had happened while she was gone. After labeling them all as ex-cons, she quickly developed her own illicit secret. When Charity Dingle, Chaz Dingle, and the others noticed Tina had an electronic tag on, they were taken aback and realized that Tina had probably served time in prison. Is that a tag, Tina Dingle? Taunted Charity. So, have we really been bad girls? Ex-con, ex-con, and so on. When the police showed up, they declared that she had either broken her tax terms or been released one day early. The following day, Tina disclosed that the tag was coming off, but the police removed her, although it wasn't made clear if she would return to court or prison, it doesn't appear like she will run into any problems because she left voluntarily. However, it remained a mystery as to why she was wearing it or whether she had been imprisoned. In addition, we are unaware of the offense she had done in order to receive the tag and, if she was incarcerated, the length of her stay. But it's evident that, like a number of her family, she has broken the law. Considering that the returning character has been off-screen for 28 years, there is still a lot to learn about her. Zack had previously stated that he was not in communication with his daughter, and it appeared that nobody else was aware of her whereabouts either. On Thursday, Tina informed the family that she had continued to communicate with her cousin Mandy Dingle. It was obvious that none of them knew about it, but Mandy appeared uncomfortable about it. Mandy attempted to imply that it was just via the strange message and Christmas cards, but it appears they have spoken a lot. They were taken aback by Tina's apparent knowledge of her distant family. It remains to be seen if Tina will bring additional drama.